Okay, local re regional therapies are the standard of care in intermediate stage HCC, so-called BCLCB patients. I think the most important and most uh, familiar used um, treatment option is so-called transarterial chemoembolization, or TACE. TACE is an appropriate choice in every patient who has local regional um, disease, so-called BCLCB disease. Um, you can do it even in some patients with BCLCC stage, but in these patients you should not have an in, um, uh, infiltration of the main portal vein and you don't, should not have portal, um, a portal vein, complete portal vein thrombosis. These patients are in principle eligible for TACE, but um, you have to consider in a, um, that the patients, if they have decrease of liver function after one or two cycles of TACE, they won't benefit from f further cycles and then you should switch to another treatment option. TACE is a very good treatment option for patients with intermediate stage HCC. Those patients are now candidates for radiofrequency frequency ablation or surgery, and they are not yet candidates for systemic therapies. We do have good evidence for the use of TACE, but we always have to keep in mind how this evidence was based. The study was performed many, many years ago in highly selected patients with an extremely good liver function and also um, small tumors. And nowadays, we tend to use TACE in also in patients with more reduced liver function and also larger tumors. And we don't really have good prospective evidence how good this treatment is and how we really improve the overall survival of our patients. Nevertheless, if we stick to the criteria, tumors not larger than seven centimeters, um, no vascular invasion, TACE is clearly a very good option. The problem with TACE is that if we overuse it and if we repeatedly use it in patients, we will harm the liver in the end. So when we look at the liver function before start of treatment and at the end of treatment, we will and we have to realize that liver function have deteriorated in most cases. If we do one or two TACEs, it's good, but then we really need to critically evaluate the reuse of TACE. And this is a problem because it's not well defined. It has never been really um, uh, analyzed in prospective trials. So in general, we are used that stable disease is an acceptable outcome um, for the treatment of patients with cancer. In, in respect to taste, I do not think that this is really true because we harm the liver if we overuse taste. Therefore, we really need to be careful and maybe we need to be more strict and require a response after taste to continue with taste. And if we do not have a response after taste and only stable disease, we really should <coughs> double check that we, that, we, uh, refer, that we maybe transfer these patients to systemic therapies. So I've, the problem about taste is there are some few problems. And I think the, the, most, the biggest problem in taste is that it's not standardized at all. So every hospital does it a bit different way. So we, there's no standardization concerning the drugs, the chemotherapy agents you use. So you can use doxorubicin, mitomycin, cisplatin, chemcytopine, arenotecan. So it's not at all standardized. And the second thing that the kind of emulation is not standardized among different um, countries and also among just different hospitals. And uh, even different radiologists do it in the same hospital in a different way. And um, so also the embolization, embolization agents such as uh, draculutin beads or lipiodol or other embolization stuff is not standardized. It's a big problem. And the second problem about TACE, I think, is that we don't have good, really good stopping rules. That means we don't know how long we should TASE the patient because the side effects of TASE can be uh, decreasing liver function or even liver failure. So of course in every patient you do local uh, region or lo regional um, ablation or regional therapy, you should try to, do it to decrease the, the, the size of the tumor. So um, of course it, sh it should be tried in every patient if it's possible. Um, however, we have sometimes the problem that the, 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 the tumor doesn't decrease, uh, even if we do a few uh, cycles of taste. And so I think these patients should not uh, undergo several, several more uh, cycles of taste. In such patients, if you don't have a response, you should try uh, switch to a systemic treatment. And we have new treatment options now coming.